experience. What I've really learned is that if you really want them to build good computer systems, you have to look at the real world. everyone, I'm Professor Sally Eves. Well, what a week it's been with all things AWS reInvent for 2022. I'd love to take a moment now really to pause and reflect and share about one of the key leadership sessions and on a topic really close to heart. That's energy consumption and sustainability. It was a real pleasure to watch Howard Geffen, General Manager of Energy at AWS, discussing their energy strategy in depth and hearing from consumers on the front line too. So here's my three top takeaways, if you will. They're very much centered in on energy in action. So first, it's Amazon's commitment towards working towards a net zero carbon environment by 2040. And putting that into context, it's a full 10 years before the Paris Agreement date of 2050. Fantastic to see. And how's this being achieved? Well, it's the implementation of $2 billion worth of new clean tech and setting up a pathway to 100% renewable energy by 2025. Fantastic. Oh, AWS is working with over 380 projects right now and right across the globe. And that's helping to provide power for more than 4.3 million US homes a year or 13.4 million homes in Europe. It's fantastic to see that scale of impact. And so my final takeaway, I think it's something that's been under the spotlight ever more in recent years, and that's supply chain. AWS are currently transitioning their buildings to be net zero carbon and also implementing sustainable transportation, for example, using electric vehicles and providing a carbon footprint tool too. I've tried that myself. Really, really, really good. So I won't say any more. The session is available right now on demand. If you've already registered for reInvent, you already have access to it. I really recommend it. Thank you all for watching.